In the Temple of Mansura, the air is filled with a warm and radiant glow, like golden sunlight dancing on polished marble floors. The fragrance of incense weaves through the halls, creating an ethereal atmosphere. The knights clad in gleaming armor move gracefully, their steps echoing like chimes of hope. The cosmic festivals are celebrated with vibrant colors and mesmerizing chants that resonate in harmony with the universe. On the other hand, the witchcraft salon emanates an eerie ambience, like a shroud of darkness enveloping its every corner. The gardens, though outwardly beautiful, possess a haunting allure, with flowers that bloom like blood-red stars in a midnight sky. The wind whispers hauntingly through the twisted branches of ancient trees, creating an otherworldly sound that sends shivers down the spine. In the shadows, the witches' dances take place, moving like spectral figures in a macabre ballet. The Knights of the Holy Grail in the Temple of Monsera are driven by a sense of divine purpose and an unwavering devotion to love and justice. Their souls are illuminated by the pure light of their beliefs, and they find solace in the benevolent guidance of the Christ and Divine Mother. Theirs is a quest for spiritual enlightenment, seeking unity with the cosmos and spreading goodness to all beings. Conversely, the Knights of the Wolf's Head are enigmatic and veiled in mystery. They draw power from the ancient forces of nature and fatalistic philosophy, seeing themselves as agents of balance rather than outright evil. Their motivations are deeply rooted in their understanding of the duality of existence, where the allure of darkness and the embrace of shadows are considered essential to the cosmic harmony. Within the Temple of Mansura, sanctity and love are spoken of with words of wisdom and compassion. The white magicians recognize the sacredness of sex as a path to spiritual growth, seeing it as a divine union that transcends the physical realm. Their metaphors liken this union to the graceful dance of intertwined serpents, representing the rise of consciousness and spiritual ascension. In contrast, the black magicians within the witchcraft salon speak of love and sanctity with sinister intent, twisting the concepts into a grotesque mockery of their true meanings. They use seductive language to lure unsuspecting souls into their dark web of temptation, where the descent of the serpent represents a fall from grace, indulging in hedonism and hedonistic pursuits. Amidst the revelations of hyperspace, the White Lodge's mastery of curved space is likened to the graceful flight of fairies, who effortlessly navigate the unseen dimensions. The Black Lodge's dark arts are depicted as a dance with the devil, where they perform forbidden rituals in secret chambers to harness the power of darkness. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of these realms, the characters become more complex, their motivations shaded by ambiguity. Even the sinister demon of darkness, Don Ramon Rubifero, harbors hidden depths, driven by his own reasons for embracing the path of the wolf's head. Nahima's fatal beauty, too, is not merely an instrument of seduction, but a character with desires and vulnerabilities that shape her actions. 